Welcome back to Indie Style. Joining me now, Nathan Lowe. Nathan with good hair, as I like to call him. Oh, the wow. Indie Dog Whisperer, along blush. with Yeti. What's up? Also has great hair and a great <laughs> day. Hi. Oh my goodness, what a <laughs> love. How much does Yeti weigh? Yeti is 145 oh. pounds. Oh my He's goodness. He's a two year old great Dane. He was adopted from Rosie's Southside He's Animal two? Shelter by the Klipsch family. Oh. And they went for a cat originally and came home with Yeti. So <laughs> they went for a cat. Good boy. They, came home with <laughs> they Yeti. did. He's slightly bigger. So. so to me, Yeti looks like perfection. But I know you've been working with Yeti. I have. For a little barking issue. I have. So Yeti was having a little bit. Of, Yeti has four pack members, four other pack members, and Yeti was having a little bit of trouble rushing the fence line, barking at the fence line, okay. and couldn't get it under control. So. The technique that I teach when dogs are doing this mm -hmm. is we get our back to the fence and we drive the dog away from the fence and say back off. Okay. What a dog does at a fence line is they are taking over the scenario and addressing it and I want them to give it over to me. Sometimes you'll see two dogs barking at a fence. Right. They'll bark and the one will turn to the other and go oh, 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 to the other one. And right. that's what they're telling them. Okay. Back away my situation. So I need to tell him back away my situation. Play back up to me, but I decide what happens. Oh, I see. We also worked on an issue with barking. So there's a couple different kinds of barking dogs do. There is an alarm bark, which is just, whoa, right? That's okay. just a, hey, somebody's here. Then there's, hey, whoa, 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 right? There's that version. We all know what that is. <laughs> right. Yes, that was me. <laughs> so the alarm bark indicates that the alarm bark is fine. The whoa, 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 is him talking to what's outside the door, but that's my job to decide if it's a threat or not. He okay. needs to alarm me and I need to come and see. So we worked on this, the Klipsch family worked on this, and Yeti has made amazing strides. Yes. And Mr. Klipsch reports that He's doing awesome. He's doing awesome. Now, yes. I mean, Yeti is looking very powerful. Is it he hard is. for you to be a whisper and train? Do you get intimidated by a powerful dog like Yeti when you're training? I, I mean, especially if it's <laughs> running full force, if Yeti is barking at you and getting... No, um, you know. I read, it's the body language that makes me cautious. And he okay. had he had very good body language from the start. A little ill-mannered at times uh, initially, but good body language. And so, I, you know, when I get down my knees sometimes and he's this way, I do stand right. up then a okay. lot of times. <laughs> now, for those of us who aren't dog whispers, and then we don't, we don't, how do we really differentiate the barks? Whether they need something, they are in danger, or they're just yapping. Well, again, that, that type of staccato bark. Okay. Now, when a dog gets scared, they can do that as well. So if right. a dog gets startled, they can, bah! if right. you come around the corner too suddenly. But when they're looking at something out the window doing this, they're playing point. And that's your job to play point. Okay. So I turn, I, I'll get my back to the door, to the window, drive them off the door and say, uh-uh. Okay. And then they're free to come up with me, but not to address it. That's my job. That's your to, job. Absolutely. Okay. I absolutely. love it. And I actually think we have a little bit of the happy owner yes. talking about the progress Yeti has made. It's, it's been night and day. You know, he's kind of, kind of teaching us how to uh, think like a dog to be able to lead them. And it's, it's really some simple things it seems like but man it changed you know simple to us humans but it seems like a big deal to them and now you know our dogs are really behaving well they you know i was telling him on the way in they go out in and out all day long and once a day i catch them barking at something that that would be surprising now and it used to be all day every day Oh, good stuff. Now we have some viewer questions for you as yes. well. All right, Nathan, here we go. Why do my well-behaved and friendly dogs bark like mad on our walks if they see another dog? They go, to, you know, why do they do that? They okay. go crazy. So typically what happens is this. A dog, if they don't claim anything, will not react to other dogs. So when the, when the dog goes to the groomer, for instance, it doesn't right. claim anything. Okay. But when, Jennifer, when you're walking your dog, what is happening is that your dog claims you and as a result, it's telling the other dog, this is mine, stay away. Oh, so, so they're I, a little possessive of their Yes, owner. and so I see even in, in couples where one of the couple, one, one half the couple can walk the dog with no reaction, the other one, the dogs react like crazy because they claim the one walking them at that time. I see. There are methods of dealing with that, by the way. Uh, and you're the man to answer that. And yes, I have a question really quickly. If you're sure. in love with a dog, you mm -hmm. want to get this dog, but you're scared that it's a, like a yippy yappy dog. Can <laughs> that, do some dogs just naturally, are they just born like that? Or can you kind of tone that down? There are certain breeds that are definitely designed to be more vocal like a beagle, but okay. you can address it and teach them to, okay. to give that situation to you and let you make those decisions. I would love a dog, a puppy, but I want something, someone you know, that's chill, a furry baby that's well, chill. Well, 
<laughs> like Yeti. Yeah, you can't have him, but <laughs> you can get a Dane. I could ride Yeti around the neighborhood. I'd be really excited. Oh, about it that. would. Convertible with him popped up over the top. <laughs> Where can everybody find you and more information, Nathan? Because you're so fantastic. So, Facebook, they can find me at VND Dog Whisper. Okay. Um, my phone number is 317 999 4388 and IndieDogWhisper at gmail.com. Of course, we'll have all, all the things, all the wonderful things up Indie Style on our Facebook page. Thank you so much for Thank being you, here. Thank you, Mackenzie. Yeti, you're a superstar. Say bye bye. Star. Bye. Say bye. Hasn't even barked yet. <laughs>